Yes guys, what is happening and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, this is no bug ring prep. I'm scared of breaking down. So today what we're doing, we're trying to do a clutch on the driveway. We've got our good, got our good friend Scott, good friend Thomas. Um, and we are going to attempt to do the clutch with axle stands, jacks. We're going to get this bad boy out of here because it feels horrible. The biting point is literally like at the top of the clutch pedal and I do not like it. So rather than get stuck on the Nürburgring ring and have all these fees for when it breaks down, I'd rather do what we possibly can to stop it from um, causing any... I do not want to be paying for being broken down on the Nürburgring ring. So this is going to be our prep for the ring. So yeah, this is our clutch. Um, we've got an AC. AC competition clutch, apparently they're very, very good brand. You had to do that, didn't you, Tom? Uh, stage force. This is good for like 450 brake. So obviously when we go big turbo, we'll be fucking sad, mate. So yeah, there's a clutch in there. All the alignment tool in that. And then we got drive shaft seals because when you pull the drive shaft seals out, you'll perish the seals. Hopefully, get her out. Get a go. Um, so we got uh, Roman, the uh, photographer. So if you want any work doing on your car, photographs of it. Um, so what we're going to do is just there's literally like a little, it's like a locking nut kind of thing where they push the edge of the nut in um, just to release. So obviously once the car's got the wheels on, um, we're going to undo those first and then we can start. To be fair, whilst we're doing this, I can, uh, battery needs to come out, um, induction kit needs to come out. So obviously we need to get to where the gearbox is, all the cables. Um, so yeah, I'm literally going to just undo from here this jubilee take the induction kit out take the battery you know how the battery comes out and um, then obviously we'll get to you uh, on the next step so the battery's coming out induction kit's coming out and then we'll get to you when we've got all this uh, available so let's go <laughs> Jackie Chan over there, jacking the car up. Um, so yeah. Oh my God, so give me some. <laughs> have it. So yeah, hopefully that should be able to remove all the cables and that from the uh, gearbox. And then start work. Pretty much then, it's all underneath then, isn't it? Pretty much, yeah. After you do that. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed, it's uh, pretty simple. Well, you know the deal. Clutch on a driveway. We ain't scared. Oi. Big up Thomas. Yo, yeah. tell the boys they'll take the best pictures on the land. <laughs> so there's wiring harness. Harness? harness. When I then. So one, two, three, there's three um, connectors. One there, one there, and then one at the back there. So we'll do those, um, get them out of the way, and then obviously we've cable toward that just to that, just so we can. Uh, so is that them? For the master cylinder? Yeah, I'll yeah. undo that now and we'll tie it up the way as well. Oh, we undo that? Do we drain it? At no, any no, point? we can leave it all intact. Oh, really? No, no. Well, guys, so we're uh, draining the gearbox uh, fluid. What did you say? What's your tip of the day? Crack off the fill plug first. Why is that? Well, if you can't get the drain plug undone, then yep. no point. There you go, lovely job, Luke. Well, hopefully, you can see it through there. Well, so get your Mac in. Well then, so the reason we've been vibrating our absolute nuts off is because we've got hard race inserts. So you can just see it through there. And then this one's got a hard, I might take them out, you know, I don't know. What do you think? It's just, it's just uncomfortable, man. Um, it's all right when you're sending it, but, right, so, it works all the time. Well, so, is he going to definitely get it, yeah? It's a trap, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't me uh, looking for? Defo can't sing, man. Ooh, hey, lovely jubbler. How much should be in here, Scott? Just under two litres. 3.74 yeah. litres. Sound. And the, the boy's back in action. So, uh, yeah, two bolts, literally easy as that, yeah? Four bolts. It, it ain't going to jump out on me or anything, is it? Nah, it's strapped to a There we go, that one's out. Right. Beauty. Uh, one right at the back. There we go. There's four? Yeah. Whoa, you're coming down. Good. Aaron, we'll be doing engine rebuild soon. <laughs> that was close. 
We don't like the back. Don't mix. Can you film me? What? So they like some sort of What performance vehicle? Right then, throw that, so I'm going to have to go. Just hold the crack. Ready? Nope, just don't twist. Before you go in the gym? Yeah, we have. Oh, so that's been whipped out. Lovely juggler. Easy as that, just lower it, undo all the bolts. Um, and then, literally undoing the... Uh... I appreciate that, you've actually stopped this time. People were moaning going... These people are talking in the background. They actually got annoyed at that, you know. Nice to show you. I know, but uh, yeah, hard rice engine, man. Undo that bad boy. Gonna talk in the background. Ah, oh, don't do that, man. Three bolts here, holding the gearbox mount in place. We're gonna undo those bad boys. Are you tightening it up? Definitely. Right, so three, one, two, three. Oh, we've undone the starter motor. That's so which is connected to the floor. Yeah, so do. Apparently, we've got an upgraded, um, upgraded floor wheel. Uh, apparently, that, that's an upgraded floor wheel, so happy days. Um, yeah. Is that normally open like that, that floor wheel? Yeah, it's because it's coming apart. So. Oh, really? Uh, do you mean the hot gap? Yeah, yeah. No way. Oh, is, oh, is that it? Yeah. Right, so it's pretty much. I'm doing them. That's um, and you jacked up. Um, yeah, it's a bolt. Biggest bugbearer out of this car. Hopefully, it gets rid of now. You make everything look so difficult. Yeah, I know, yeah, it's fucking. You've got to rub your foot on it, just dancing around the pavement with it. Shut up, you. Come on, you slag. You don't have to do everything yeah. for me. Fuck you. Know. So easy, mate. That looks good. Look at that. Fuck off. <laughs> I will. I will need it. In a, I have to go pick it up in a sec because I do need the actual inside out of it. But yeah, power flex one. It's just vibrating too much. Car's too old to have that kind of shit. I feel shit as enough as it is. So yeah. Cut it off. We'll do it. Oh, we're gonna do it a bit slower. Yeah, could be. Well, then, so what you're saying, it shouldn't be this dirty? Well, let's take the pressure pad off. Look at the state of that. Oh, um, no, 10 more. Scott. Oh, no, the reckon, reckon that. It's one on the side of the. Reckon yeah, that's on the, side of the, the side of day, The pressure plate. Is that the pressure? What's that? Frost bearing. What, you reckon that's had its day, you reckon? Yeah, if you listen to it. Yeah. You shouldn't do that, and the bearing's a bit worn. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's well, I would say we've actually got. Scott's got the clutch off pretty much. I'm just having the uh, final piece. So apparently, um, it started coming away on the edges a little bit, as you can hopefully see. Um, apparently these Exidy ones don't last that long. Um, the springs are really loose. Yeah, Aaron cocked it, reversed it first. You've done way more than them, mate. Yeah, I know. Oh, I didn't even do one properly. So we're not allowed to talk in the background. Oh, shit, yes, sorry. Yeah, don't talk in the background, please. Um, but yeah, Exidy, uh, Clutch, apparently don't last long. If you've got one, had one, and they haven't lasted that long. It's only been in here two years, so would have thought it lasted longer than that. Um, and then, got loads of heat. I can't really say I know what I'm looking at, to be honest, because I ain't got a Scooby, but yeah, we do this year. little dark spots. Yeah. There's little sort of heat, that is. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, but apparently it looks like something that's actually got in the gearbox, because there's like swarf and loads of shit. Um, so yeah, we're just doing our best job, cleaning it up. Look, you can see some much. Look at that. Yeah, look, that shouldn't be like, this should be like a solid thing inside, isn't it? It's bouncing around in there. Like a stone yeah, stuff in there. There, all here. Look at that metal for. Go kart Mate, I beat you last time with your go kart Yeah, we didn't do an outdoor one, did Give we? Give me that. Okay, box side, put that on for the video. 
What do you say? It's a one gearbox. Fla flywheel sides flat. Yeah. Gearbox sides raised. It's it? It's only engraved on them. It's on this one. No way. Yeah. I just thought we get a more aggressive pedal because that's what I want, man. You'll get an aggressive board with this. Yeah. There we go, we've got the new. Was it frost bearing you put in? Uh, guide bearing? Yeah, it's a bit. Oh, the way it sucks as you pull it out. It's like, you dirty dog. Oi! Rated for 450 brake when you throw a turbo on it. So the new clutch pressure plate is going on and you are talking them to what? Pounds foot tour? 19. 19. Is there a sequence? Yeah. Which one to do so, first? Yeah, so we've got one of these clutch, clutches, you have this paperwork to go off. This one is a busy. What, eating pizza? Yeah, <laughs> eating pizza. You're wise as you are, you know that. There we go, so sit this lovely new um, bought new seals for the gearbox. Just in case the draw shaft wrecked them in it. Yeah, they're a bit old, so you just was that? Yeah, but they should be should be like two years old, isn't it? Because I'm guessing when the I don't think they are. What you don't think they replace them? No. So say when we put change and we put new stuff in, so there we go, grease it up. Then pop her in there. Same on that side. Let's just add a new one in. All greased up, lovely. Oh, yeah. oh. And then that clips on there. Yeah. When I get there, I'm going to say. That's it. No That's on there, and I'll see you clutch. That's when you push a, a clutch. A lot more freely than you've wanted, didn't it? Yeah. It's the big price. I think you won't go that far, and it goes about there. Oh, does it? Yeah, because no, the pressure plates still there. Yeah. I'm just concerned with stuff like that. Like the chips in there, man. Yeah, like someone's been in there for right now. Like that's all. In there, there's a spark plug socket on the. Uh, yeah. Right, so we have got new filter. We've got some sexy Miller's oil, 5W40. We've got a spare, I think it's five litres to the touch. Um, and then we've got some iridium spark plug. So I don't know if there's going to be one video, two video, or whatever. Um, as you know, we're still putting the gearbox together and all that kind of shit. So yeah, let's uh, yeah. The airplane is just about to come over as we video, and as usual, um, coil pack, four of them. Um, I'm just going to disconnect, so just push the blue pin. I don't think these have been changed in a while, you know, so they do look. On focus, focus, focus. Gonna focus, man. No, we're not gonna focus, guys. Oh no. No, we ain't focusing at all. But yeah, they look nice and uh, creamy, which apparently that's, that means it's been running fine. It has been running fine anyway, it's a good. It continues to do the same, but. Got yours in here. There we go. So these are BR. Yeah, I've got here. BR seven. The ones I've got are a BR eight. I don't think they're going to make any difference. Oh, uh, BR eight. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I don't know if you've got a gap on or what, but throw them in. Right then. So we're all up. I took my powerflex and your mat out because it was doing my head in. Uh, all the cables are in. All the connectors are back in. Done a good job, ain't you, Scott? Uh, put the server back in. I've just tried the clutch yeah. pedal and it doesn't feel any different. I was hoping that it was going to be like rock solid, but we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. And then now we're going to, uh, gonna put that in. Is what that paper working now? Just shoulder press that. Right then, guys, good old Scott. Has, uh, got it all in. Got it all in a day and we didn't have any problems, man. I cannot believe it. Uh, 
Yeah, nice new clutch in. Took the engine out. Does, doesn't bother out as much, which is brilliant. Uh, good old Tom said he's worked out. We've raised the rear up. Um, we've noticed a fault with the other tyre. Um, I'm not too sure if it's going to pick up on the camera. Uh, but I think the tyre's perished. It's only been on a month and I've probably done like 200 miles, if that. Um, so here we go. We are going to need a new tyre for the ring. Yeah, can we see it? Hopefully you can see that. I'm not too sure why that has done that. Uh, but yeah. We need a new tyre. Yeah, lovely man. Raised it up. Well happy. Well happy.